And outside Nigeria, the Duke of York, Prince Andrew, faces a civil case in the U.S. after Virginia Jufra sued him, claiming he abused her in 2001. He has consistently denied the claims. A judge has ruled the case can continue after Prince Andrew tried to have it dismissed. Ms. Jufra has sued him for compensation, claiming he abused her in 2001 when she was just 17. But the Queen's second son has consistently denied the claims, saying he has no recollection of ever meeting her and her account of them having sex in the U.S. and U.K. did not ha happen. Ms. Jufra's lawyer, David Boyce, speaking with journalists, says a money settlement alone will not be enough for his client, adding that she wants to be vindicated. Prince Andrew's lawyers had cited a 2009 deal she signed with convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein as grounds for the dismissal of the case, arguing she had waived her right to pursue a claim against the royal. But Judge Louis A. Kaplan said the case could continue, adding that this ruling did not determine the truth or falsity of Ms. Jeffrey's comp complaint. It's an important step, and uh, my client is very, very pleased with that, very pleased that uh, evidence will now be taken uh, and very pleased that there will now be a judicial determination on the merits of her claims against Prince Andrew. If this case goes to a trial, Prince Andrew most likely will have to come to New York and take the stand because he's not in a position to argue hardship or that he can't travel. He travels all the time. He almost travels for a living.